Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Curls with Chris here. And this week, I wanted to give you guys a, um, a kind of like fun, very short tutorial on how to do kind of sort of like a fall-ish wash and go on your hair with using no gel. So basically just like minimal product. I literally only used one product on this wash and go. And let me tell you, this one came out so good and basically it i got a little bit of frizz up here girls because um it's very rainy out today and i had to basically um go out and run some errands but you know what i don't really care about too much frizz because i normally you know pick my hair out anyway but look get into this body and the shine and bounce get into this your girl's hair is coming through y'all it is really really coming through so yeah um basically the only so i had already washed my hair and deep conditioned it when i did this video well i'm sorry when i um before i styled it and so what i washed um my hair in is the shea moisture activated charcoal charcoal and mint with ginger extract um, detox and refresh gentle shampoo and it's for all hair types um, this is what the packaging looks like I left up on this at TJ Maxx it was really really inexpensive but anybody who's been following my channel knows that I have support dermatitis so my scalp I really have to clean my scalp every single time that I wash my hair because otherwise I'm gonna have a lot of like gunk and everything in it every every week and I can't I can't with that so I washed my hair with that and then I did the thank god it's natural honey miracle hair mask so I did deep condition a really good deep condition like I think I left this bad boy in for like four hours or so but anyways yeah so I used that and then um as I'm in the video you will see what I um you know the oils and different things that I put on my hair so yeah, this is how it came out. I actually really, really like it. For it to be like a really muggy day out here, um, I think it came out really, really good. Like my curls loved these products. So the only product that I used was the TGIN Miracle Repair X Protective Leave-In Conditioner. That was it. And then I just did the Miracle, the It's a 10 Miracle Defrizzing Curl Cream. This thing is really, really good, and I definitely believe it um, defrizzed my curls. Ooh, it defrizzed my curls um, as best that it could, given the situation. Um, it's really, really rainy. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now, and I'm gonna get straight into the video. But before we start, um, if you've gotten this far and you're actually gonna watch the video, because I know you are, you may as, well, may as well like and subscribe to my channel while you're here. Um, I'm telling you, you're gonna get some really good hair tips, your hair's gonna be flourishing, and you're gonna thank me later. You're gonna thank me later, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so obviously right now, I am just going to uh, separate my hair on both sides. So I'm doing two little separations if you see me talking i bleep that out because i have a little helper with me he's helping me with my clips and stuff so yeah that's my little my little guy um he loves to help on the videos so yeah i am just separating my hair away and for this particular side i'm just gonna start in the back so as you can see these parts i'm not doing these parts super small either so they're just like a moderate amount of hair and then i'm just going to um so basically like four sections for the because i'm right now i'm putting in the tgin miracle repair x protective leave-in conditioner and I am pretty heavy-handed with this product which just because it's the leave-in and it's going to be really important a really important stage for um, this wash and go
Okay, so um, on the front portions of my hair, I tend to do the sections a little bit smaller because I have a lot more um, residual heat damage on the front portions of my hair. So I just try to make sure that the leave-in conditioner, since that's going to be like the base of the, this wash and go of this particular style and I want to make sure that my hair shaft is completely saturated like obviously I want my whole head to be completely saturated with the wash and go but with the product I'm sorry but for certain sections of my hair I just pay a little bit more attention and a little a little bit extra care to um to those pieces Okay guys, I just wanted to stop right here before I move into the next section just to show you guys um, the front left portion of my hair. I don't know if you could see that over there, but um, I definitely had a lot of heat damage on this other side and I've been taking a supplement and it has dramatically helped um, that portion of my hair right there in the front um, grow out a lot faster than I expected it to and I'll be doing a video on it very soon so that you guys can try it out as well. Okay, so I'm just wetting my hair a little bit more because I'm about to go in with the Isatin Curl Defrizzing, Miracle Defrizzing Curl Cream. And so this is like the last step. So as you can see, I have a lot of leave-in on top of my hair. The consistency is kind of thick, but not really like really thick, but it's thick enough so that you can use just a moderate amount on each section. So I'm really only doing um, four quadrants once again for this, and I am leaving it, you know, just on my hair as is. As you can see, you know, you can see the product it looks like it's like sitting on top of your hair but um once i put my you know plastic cap on and i put my grace alaya bonnet on that is going to basically help the curls to it's going to penetrate it's going to help the product penetrate into the hair for one because you get a little bit of heat under there not like dramatic heat from sitting under the dryer but a little bit of heat under there and it's going to help it um help the curls clump together So now that all the product is in, all I'm doing is just putting my hair up in a very loosey-goosey um, pineapple. As you can see, the product is like sitting right on top of there, but that doesn't matter. And then you're going to take your plastic cap and basically just slap it on top of there as well. And after this, you are basically done. You're going to put your bonnet or scarf on top of that to help. Um, first of all, you don't want to hear that sound all night long while you're sleeping and it's just going to help keep in the um the moisture and to clump your curls together okay hey guys now it is the next day and i have already um taken my hair down i took it down first thing in the morning and i let it air dry for about six or seven hours um and this is the finished product it has a lot more body and everything and what you see me doing here is just I just picked up the first oil that I came across in my bathroom, which was the jojoba oil, which it really doesn't matter to me which oil I use, but I do like to put oil on my hair to kind of like fluff up my hair, give it a little shine. There was absolutely no crunch at all, but just in case that there is, the oil will take care of that for you, and it's just going to help your, you know, um, give your curls some added elasticity, it's going to give you a cover portion for your hair, 
And yeah, and after this, if you would like to put a little gel on your edges, I know some people like to like to slay their edges. I am not really good at that, so I don't do that all the time. But now would be the time um, that you can do that. And look at these curls, y'all. They look amazing. Like I am so pleased with how well my hair um, came out. So yeah, this was the finished product.